In this chapter, I shall tell you about creating a query using the wizard. For that, click the create tab on the ribbon. And over here on the right, you will notice in the other section, we have got query wizard and query design. Two different ways to create queries. We are going to focus on the query wizard. So let's click the query wizard button. This is a new query and you will see those four samples right here. Simple query wizard. Cross tap query wizard. Find duplicates query wizard. And find unmatched query wizard. Now, as I click on each one of these, I get a little bit of information over here. The simple query wizard is going to help me create a select query. Click on OK button. Now, you can see simple query wizard dialog box on your screen. Click on tables queries drop down and select table performers. You can see the field in the performers table. If I click on table CDS, I see all of those fields. Now I am going to select the fields that I want to use in my query. Select CD title. Click the single arrow to move that over. The double arrow allows me to move them all over. If I wanted every single field in this table. But I just want CD title right now. Select performer ID. Click the single arrow. Now I am going to click the drop down and select table performers. Select first name. Click the single arrow and select the last name. Click the single arrow. When I click next, I move on to the next screen and I get to name my CDS query. So I am going to leave the default down below R to open the query to view the information that's pulled out. Click on finish. You can see the performer ID that was the field I selected. You can see the first name and the last name of the performer. So that's a good example of a simple query where we are extracting information from one or more tables and bringing it all together in one sheet. Next, I shall tell you about creating a query from scratch. For that, click the design view button. And this is our CDS query. You can see we use two tables. Then we have got fields from each of those tables showing up down below. A simple select query. We are going to use some criteria, maybe even some sorting. Go up to the Create tab. Click on Query Design. Here, the Show Table dialog box. It allows us to choose the tables we want to use in our query. Select CDS. And click on Add. 
select performers and click on add close this dialog box select CD title and drag it down into the fields section down here and release you can see that the field chose up CD title and the table it comes from also shows up down below now if I click in the next column you can see there is a drop down if I click that I'm going to see all of the fields in each of the tables showing up here let's go down to performers first name and choose their first name double click on last name you can see it automatically fills in the next column so this is the information I want displayed but the field I want to set the criteria on is actually not showing yet double click on year launched you can see it shows up down here by default all of these fields will be showing in the results I don't need the year launched to show so I'm going to turn that off by clicking the checkbox now I'm going to set some criteria up I'm going to click in here and I'm going to start building my criteria click on build a button now you can see expression builder dialog box double click on tables double click on CDS and double click on year launched it gets inserted into my expression builder select equal sign it from here and type 2013 when I click OK I will have written the actual criteria click down here so now I have got my criteria when I click run button you can see the results so here is the CD title first name and the last name go back to design view I can click the show checkbox here and run this again now you can see the year launched down the right hand side so there's my result from a design query that I created from scratch next I shall tell you about performing calculations on a group of records we can down to the status bar down here and you can see that we are at record 1 of 4 so there are a total of 4 records returned in this query but if we want the total to show up be down here in the bottom row for that click on total you will see that the word total shows up here in the first column and now I just simply have to select the field that I want to total up next to total under the year launched column and I'm going to click the drop down and you can see my options here are none or count click count and right away you can see the number 4 shows up now if we don't want the totals row we just click the totals to turn it off the next time we turn it back on everything we set up earlier is still there 